Hey there everybody. Thanks for joining in. Today I got a treat for you. We are going to go to Light Bicycles North American office at the north end of Vancouver Island. We're going to talk to some of the staff and we're going to watch these wheels get built up today. Come along with me. Yeah, so light bicycles obviously been kind of in the carbon wheel industry for, for some time. I know we celebrated our 20 year anniversary just recently. Certainly started with a lot of kind of producing rims for other companies, um, which we had great success with. Obviously in those 20 years have really developed the art of making carbon wheels. Um, and you know, being one of the sort of the the original carbon wheel companies in the world, certainly, you know, go go to the you know extremes to kind of develop new products. Um, you know, I know we just recently brought in a new one and it still kind of surprises me that we're still coming up with new items and it's really cool to see kind of just the, the work and the, the craftsmanship of each product. Yeah, my name is Victoria. I work at uh, Light Bicycle here in the North America store. I'm originally from New Zealand um, where, you know, I kind of did a bit of mountain biking uh, back when I was a a teenager um, but it wasn't until I moved to, to Canada in my uh, early 20s that I really got into a bit more mountain biking did a few years in uh, the interior uh, and then I moved to Victoria in uh, the early 2000s there uh, where I kind of gained a bit more experience in the industry became an instructor for mountain biking and then also did um, quite a bit of uh, racing for cyclocross it's like light bicycle here in North America is an accompaniment to our main office obviously uh, in uh, mainland China the global team um, even within that you know the customization you can get with each rim um, say for instance you're looking for a custom spoke whole rim or uh, maybe a different uh, finish say for instance uh, matte or gloss uh, those those options are open to you you know we certainly just need to reach out and you know if it's not available on our website which there's a lot of options already uh, then we can still kind of go to you know uh, some further lengths to kind of make sure that the product that we're kind of setting you up with is exactly what you want so so light bicycle positions themselves or we position ourselves as a more of a kind of a budget brand but the thing is is we design develop and lay up all of our own rims so it's not like we're paying some middleman to do it for us we're paying some other manufacturer to do us and we just stick our name on it we do everything ourselves so that allows us to make the best quality product that we can make for the lowest price possible hey i'm paul um customer service over here at light bicycle uh, i've been a mountain biker for ooh, probably going on about 30 years now um, I've been done everything from trials riding to cross country racing, downhill racing, slalom racing, uh, also BMXing, dirt jumping. Traveled for 10 years as a professional BMX rider, so that was a lot of fun. And um, just that experience helps me find the right products for our customers in all, uh, a bunch of different disciplines. We partner with high quality hub brands that are primarily located in North America, so we typically like to build high quality wheels with high quality parts. Within those brands, they'll have some more budget friendly options, which are still incredibly good quality. And we want to make sure that we're offering the best possible wheel for our customers. In, in regards to uh, the X-Flow line of rims, they're pretty similar in width and shape and dimension to the, the regular Falcon rims, the road rims. But one thing you'll find with the X-Flows is that there's a little extra material around the nipples, so they're a little stronger there. You're not gonna have any nipple pull through if you're going like really tight. And then that wave on the rim helps disrupt the airflow around the rim, which can reduce drag for about by about 30%. That may not be super important to a lot of people out there, but if you can take that, that advantage, why not? Uh, yeah, working with light bicycle uh, carbon rims is is really nice. Um, they're they're already nice and stiff. They basically want to get straight, you know, you don't have to do a whole lot of work. Uh, we've upgraded a little bit. Uh, we use Supim nipples, which are uh, secure lock. In other words, they have a mechanism on the inside that allow them to not unwind as, as riding is happening. 
and we also use uh, Stan Smoke Powder now, so it's basically a dry grease that we will coat the nipples in. We build to a very high tension standard. We build everything to, at least for mountain rims, we're gonna be building to 120 kilograms of force. And then on road rims, we go just a little bit less, about 110 kilograms of force. Hi, my name is Sky. I uh, build wheels here for light bicycle. Uh, do a little bit of everything here. I'm a part of a team of about five wheel builders. Lace wheels, build wheels, do decals, everything's custom. Yeah, so I, I did live in Vancouver for about seven years uh, and not an easy city to get around if you have a car, if anyone's uh, ever been there. Um, but cycling around is great. And so one of the, the best things I did was I, I just stopped using the car and I went out and bought a nice commuter bike. And I every day, about an hour each day, I would uh, ride my bike. And it was a great way to both stay in shape, get outside. And the nice thing about Vancouver, unlike uh, I grew up in Manitoba, but uh, at least you can ride all, all year round here, which is uh, one of the best parts about it. So. Yeah, now I'm here building wheels and also getting into mountain biking. I live in the, on Vancouver Island, so it's a very nice place. So many really good trails and things like that. So it feels really good uh, that we both do mountain and road rims and get people out riding all the time, you know? Staying healthy is a, is a really good thing and uh, biking is one of the most fun ways to do it that I've found. Hope you like that. As you can see, the staff at Light Bicycle are really in tune with riding and riders' needs and what wheels work for them. Everything from road time trialing to hardcore mountain biking, even fat bikes. They have all the rims that you can think of. So I've had these wheels now on my bike for about 600-700 kilometers. 
I've had the pleasure of taking them out a little bit of mountain biking, a little bit of road, a little bit of trail, and a lot of under biking as I'm running 35 mil semi-slick on there right now. And I've been on some pretty tough little trails. I'm really surprised at how these handle side wind. The WR40 X flows have got that undulating sidewall and what it does is disrupts the wind as you're riding along. I went through a storm that was 70, 80 kilometers an hour side wind and I've had other deep carbon wheels before and they were really hard to, to hold a line and even stay on the road sometimes. I have to say that these were so predictable it kind of actually amazed me on how predictable they were in this type of condition. But I think these wheels, these rims specifically at 25 internal and 40 deep, while maybe a bit robust for the average bike packer, this would be a perfect bike pack racing wheel. Light, strong, torsionally rigid, fast when you need it. And I think it's just a perfect all around kit. I put them together with some Industry 9 torch hubs, which I think are very versatile and extremely well made. So we'll check these out. I'm going to take these out on the BC Epic 1000 this year and just put the boots to them and see how they go. Thanks for joining in. Remember, like, subscribe, click on those notifications, and we'll see you next time. Be safe out there.